Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex Day Trade Setup for today. So uh, starting with Euro USD as usual, and this rounding bottom is still in play. Uh, this level that we gave you yesterday is still very much the, the line on the sand we need to pay attention to. That's 118.824. And at the moment, we have what is looking like a flag. So a break will give us a fairly decent measured move at the moment. And I'm really starting to like this setup quite a bit. Um, it does line up with what's happening on the indexes as well. So that would be the first level. Look the left, there the first level of uh, support. And then there would be the next level up there. So if we come back down to the hour, I'll give you the actual numbers. So there's our, our flag, or you could actually just do that. Um, we're looking for a break above this area at 118.949 to basically confirm it. And then I just want to fine tune this. So that is the, the flag there. You can take it up to the, to that high as well. So you can do that kind of thing as well. But I like using the first two tops and they're the first two tops there. So for me, this is looking like an opportunity to buy. So um, plan of action is really wait, see what happens at um, at the European Open, uh, if we start getting some structure, start looking for some opportunity to buy into this. I want to be above the moving averages, so you know, probably looking for something above 118.949 or 118.824. And uh, target to the upside is 119.973. So uh, probably going to target 120 is what I would assume. If we do break uh, below the structures we have at the moment, there is... A level of support further down and that would be around here at 118 300. Um, somehow I don't think it's going to happen I think uh, we're probably going to consolidate a bit more and then move to the upside. Just bear in mind we do have the jobs number coming in on Friday as well which uh, may influence us that would be the non-farm payrolls. And uh, moving on to US dollar Japanese yen uh, looking at the 8 hour you can see we sort of trended down as expected and then uh, We've come to a little bit of a grinding halt. I just want to adjust my levels here. Now, if you look to the left, you can see there's a reason for the, the stop as well. If we come back to the hour, you know, nothing has really much changed from, from yesterday. Yesterday, we were looking for opportunities to, to sell into this. It didn't really materialize because it just continued down. I had a big squirt down. And then a bit of recovery and then we've got a bit of confusion going on here so uh, let's add one more level would be this level here which has been tested this morning already but 109 100 that's the area to be paying attention if we do get above that then uh, 109 200 and 109 370 those are the areas to pay attention to for another opportunity for a short just be careful of that trend line there if we do get above this trend line and, and form a base, uh, you may find that it may try and uh, turn around. But based on what I'm seeing at the moment on the markets, I think uh, it's probably just a bit of consolidation or a bit of a squirt up before continuing to the downside. Um, so in other words, dollar, we're expecting some dollar weakness going into the end of the week. Uh, moving across to British pound, Japanese yen. Yesterday I said to you, you know, it could be forming a... Uh, head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, this being the shoulder, this being the head, this being the right shoulder. So we ended up with a pretty solid range bar in the middle of the day yesterday. And then we're still flirting with this 151600 one, area. So that is our line in the sand as far as I'm concerned right now. So um, you can see we broke through it, came back up, came back to test it, and now we are bouncing again. So um, Obviously, we need to get above this area here at 153,382 for that uh, inverted head and shoulders to, to pan out. Uh, but I think, for me anyway, uh, this area right where we are now would uh, be the two levels that I'd be paying attention to. So to the upside, I'm looking for a break and retest of 151,918. And to the downside, I'm looking for a break and retest of 151,600. So those are the two levels lined in the sand at the moment. You can probably just fine tune that a little bit further down, and that will give you one five one five forty five forty. 
Okay, so um, that kind of, and if you look at that, that looks like what is going to be the uh, London breakout uh, range. So pay attention to that. It breaks the downside, you're more than likely going to be targeting uh, 151044. Break to the upside, and um, I would say you're going to be targeting somewhere in the area of 152300. Uh, if we move across to Euro British Pound, and you can see that uh, nothing really, we just break out of the range, I'll give it to you now in the lower time frames for a continuation of the up downside. However, just bear in mind, this thing has been moving to the downside for quite some time. So we were looking for structure that it was going to move off. And uh, the best that we had yesterday was the, the range, which did materialize. We've also broken this uh, trend line and got a crossover here of some of the move of the oscillators. So I would anticipate another move to the downside and ultimately, probably, by the looks of things, coming down to test this area here of uh, 085044. So if we look at the hour, you'll see yesterday I gave you the trend line. This is the trend line here. Um, we'd broken it so it looked like a retesting. So there was our consolidation range. You can see we made a sort of a double top there and then we made a lower high and then we broke through it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was the opening range, and you can see breakout retest. So there was first one, first entry here. Take profit on the level. There's a level there at zero eight five three hundred. Uh, wait for the pullback. Pullback came back, and you know this is going to happen, especially when you're in amongst the moving averages like this. That it's going to be volatile, and uh, there's your next level, which came back to test, and another opportunity. So. I would anticipate exactly the same thing today. Only thing different is to change our levels a little bit. So level to the upside that I would be interesting selling off would be 085390. And um, the other thing to bear in mind is what you want to do is pay attention to 085300 as well. So um, 085300 and 085390, those are the two levels that we need to pay attention to. Moving averages have uh, sort of crossed over at the moment so uh, yeah I'd want to see the oscillators climbing a little bit before we start jumping into this but it, I do suspect another move down we're probably coming back down to 085044 uh, 4. so um, London breakout strategy to the downside again wait for the first seven one hour bars draw your range around it wait for a, a five or a 15 minute break um, or close of that range um, to the downside and Hop in short, stop above the top of the range, and uh, take the length of the range as your targets. Now, pretty easy money. Anyway, that's it for me this morning. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.